This is just an update video of the garden bed that I direct cloud posted in. You can see everything's breaking down. I'm hoping to get some volunteer tomatoes out of that. Even if they're a different variety. I got the, I think, some of those. Oh no, those I got for me perfect produce. I got those ones there, the cherry ones or the grape ones. So, they, I believe they were the organic ones. So, that's exciting. And then what doesn't grow will be broken down more. And continue to feed the plants. As you can see, look at all that growth. In just the last, I'd say, two or three days. The radishes and lettuce are doing amazing. It's still kind of cold here in Ohio. I'm froze. It's windy. You can see here that there's a lot of lettuce close together. We do that because we harvest it more as microgreens and cut it when it's smaller. Look at that good sized radish. Oh, if I quit zooming, huh? Right somewhere. Right there. Oh, he's so big. And these ones were letting get a little bit bigger to harvest that lettuce as larger pieces. Lettuce seriously grows anywhere. It volunteer grew in the side of my, I guess, a cement sidewalk. And over here. Like, all on its own. Like, obviously I didn't plant that there. That's crazy. And now I even have some volunteering on the road. Right down here. <laughs> Gotta love it. And then this is my front garden bed. My daughter threw thousands of flower seeds in here. And this is still breaking down and fertilizing. This is May 19th as well. I should probably say that so when I look back at this, I know what date it is. This is our compost bin here. Look at that. Do you see that celery right there starting to regrow? That's so awesome. I tossed it out there and it's regrowing. That's so crazy. If I can grab it. Look at that. It's regrowing in the compost bin. I love it. And then we have some tomatoes and I believe lettuce in here. This is what happens when kids help you garden. Oh, da, da, and the return of the peppermint. Well, spearmint, I mean. I don't know why I always say peppermint. It's spearmint. And then we had some lettuce volunteer grow here on its own. And back there, and some carrots from last year. I planted these onions on March 9th. They're starting to go to seed. They're just kitchen onions that overgrew. So I put them in the ground to produce seeds. That lettuce is looking amazing. I'm surprised my kids haven't picked that and eaten it yet. They will. Oh, down here we have another celery from the store put in, regrowing. Add some green onions put in from the store. See where they were cut real short on some of those? Those were the latest ones put in. But all these ones that have green were once as short as those. They regrow so fast. And then we have some peas back there by some onions. The worm bin outside. I moved it out here finally. Oh, I saw no grass. It kind of got covered in grass. Then I started a second compost in a garbage can I had outside. We'll see what happens with that. I still want to get bit though. This is the right side of my back stairs when you come out the door. And there's some volunteer sunflowers and some potatoes. That almost looks like it's variegated, that potato back there. That's so crazy to look at. I love it. Those are growing good. I put that all in on March 9th as well. This is the left side when you come out my back stairs. This was composted heavily because my bin was full and I hadn't started the second compost bin yet and it was still kind of cold so we were just composting stuff down here. 
So it's finally starting to cool down, like fertilizer wise. It's not as hot. So things are starting to grow. There's a few radishes. I don't know. A weed. They grow anywhere. Uh, a little bit of lettuce. Some more volunteer sunflowers. Some giant sunflowers here. And then I had, this was laid in the compost, so it has a whole bunch of stuff on it. But then I had an old recalled crib frame that I didn't want to use, obviously. So it's going to be my pea vine. And they're starting to vine up it. I don't know if I can get it in the video, but they're starting to finally. We're getting so big. And again, my kids tossed in some oranges down there. <laughs> That's all right. It'll compost down. I'm sure the peas appreciate it. Those are looking so good. Oh, but to the side, what you know, there's some more spearmint. And then I have this 100 gallon grow bag type thing here. My neighbor just came out and looked at me because I'm talking to myself. Oh, you gotta love it. There's some um, sunflowers, and I believe these are cherry tomatoes starting. And then over here beside it, I have some carrots that overwintered. More peas that I hope are gonna grow up those. There, and then there's another carrot up front. I planted around my shed last year. Ignore that flag, it was for uh, cable TV for the neighbor, I believe. And it didn't do too well, because the water came off of it, it flooded it. I think I got one watermelon out of it, or it might have been a pumpkin, it was a pumpkin. Uh, I don't know. It's so windy. Oh, my strawberries are in bloom. And some random flowers. Get that dandelion out of there. I gotta pull it by the roots. Some kale that overwintered. Pretty sure it's in bloom. Some dead leaves back there. I need to get off my lazy tush and put it to the compost bin to break down. Woo, it's windy. And then this year, I was going to take this from tomatoes. Yeah, there's a coffee lid there. Things are blowing everywhere. But I decided to do more lettuce and spinach here. So we've been doing a lot more produce this year. So I did a larger bed on the back side for tomatoes. More mint, spearmint. Oh, I set it right there. Oh, it's coming up in between the hostas. That's all right. We have a lot of hostas. And there's more hostas. These are my little plants I brought out on May 16th. And I set them out to start hardening them off. And my son's graduation was that afternoon for high school. We went to his graduation. He went across the stage. I completely forgot to bring it back in. I don't know how they're not dead. Because that was the first time they were ever out. And I forgot them outside for like a day and a half. And they haven't died. They look pretty healthy. They need thinned out. But that's another story. I'm going to let them grow. and The biggest, healthiest ones I'll start pulling and separating. And then relocating them. Like, look at this tomato. Look at that tomato. Oh my gosh, she's doing good. The yellow leaf's right there. That's just its first leaves. That's okay. These little ones that were dead like that, they were already like that inside the house. Because, yeah, I don't know. They don't all make it. It happens. I don't have grow lights. I don't have heat mats. So, this is a good start. I'm still shocked those little seedlings didn't, like, do worse. When I remembered it, I came out. It was like 10, 11 at night. I was like, oh, I bet every one of them are dead. Nope, they're doing fine. Oh, well. I do not recommend you ever doing that, though. I don't know how they didn't die. But. Mm. Then I have my little 
hanging baskets that aren't really hanging. They're on the ground. I think what I'm going to do, well, that one has a lot of lettuce growing in it. Yeah, that one does too. Well, the ones that don't have a lot in it, I'm going to separate out my tomatoes and my peppers into them. Because surprisingly, even though those are very small, I think they're 14 inch coconut core hanging baskets. My banana peppers produced a lot in there last summer. I wasn't even trying to leave them in there, but I was very, very pregnant at the end of summer. I had my daughter the end of August, so it kind of just got left there. And they did great. I got so many banana peppers off of it. That's a bottom part of a lettuce. I think it's going to regrow because it hasn't shriveled up. So that's awesome. Random cherry tomato there. And then I threw in some of the grass when I mowed the grass the other day. It's doing great. Then I have a thermometer over there. It looks like it's reading my ground temp at 65. So that's pretty good for this being Ohio. We've had some crappy weather lately. Oh well. So yeah, that's just an update on direct composting and my garden this far. This video is more for me to look back on because I like to see how things grow as time goes by. And I tend to forget, uh, I guess, like, when what was in the ground. Because <laughs> last year, I was planting in February because it was so warm. And then this year, well, I planted March 9th on my cold crop. But I'd already have had in a lot more stuff at this point for it being, like, May 20th, I think it is, 19th. I have no idea what the date is, to be honest. Oh, it's the 19th. But, I don't know, this year, winter does not want to go away. Or not winter, but, you know, cold weather. It goes away, gets warm, comes back. Oh, look, I just saw a volunteer pee. Little things that make me happy. So, yeah, this is our garden, 2020. Five kids, eight months old. It is what it is. My son graduated. Kids are growing. So it's our garden.